Hello everyone, this is uh, Professor Sabatini at Passaic County Community College and uh, right now we're going to go over the uh, proper way to use a balance. We use a balance to record masses. Alright, the first thing you see here on the balance is the weight on the balance, right? We usually weigh things out in grams and you see it says negative, which is not usually a good thing, right? There's nothing on there. We want it to weigh zero. So, in order to do that, you can hit the zero button on the balance and now it says zero which is a good thing because nothing's on there All right you can use the balance to weigh out different solids or liquids which is a little bit different All right but the first thing most of the time we're weighing out solids on the balance so what you do is you take a weigh boat and you put that on the balance there now that obviously has mass and that we don't want that mass right we don't you don't care what the, the weigh boat weighs. So what you do is you hit the tear button, T-A-R-E. That will set the balance to zero with your weigh boat on there. Then when you want to weigh out your solid, you take the weigh boat off of the balance. We don't add solids on the balance because that makes a mess. You take a spatula and you spoon some of your solid material into that weigh boat. Then you put the weigh boat back on and now the mass on the balance is the exact mass of the solid only right it says 2.133 grams the balance is highly accurate right so you record all the numbers from the balance you don't round off right the mass the balance is accurate so write down all of those numbers you can also do this with a beaker of some sort or a container whatever you have you can put the beaker on there uh, way out the beaker all right so I'm gonna close this up tear it again so it says zero this happens very frequently in the lab so about zero now I'm gonna weigh my beaker and I'm going to record the mass 67.801 grams then I put my solid back in there and I reweigh the beaker with the solid in it, 69.855. By using those two numbers, I take the difference, I subtract this wet mass minus the mass of the empty beaker, and that would tell me the mass of the solid in the beaker. This is frequently done in the lab and should be getting, get used to that. All right? You can also weigh liquids in the same exact fashion as we will do in the density lab. You're gonna take a graduated cylinder and weigh it. Always make sure that the balance says zero before you put that on there. Now, I record the mass, 34.544 grams. I take this off. I add my liquid. and then I place it back on the balance. Now I can record 37.478 grams. Again, I subtract the difference, right? I take this mass minus the mass of the empty graduated cylinder, and that would give me the mass of the liquid inside there. All right, that is the proper balance usage. Remember, you're always writing down all of the digits um, on the balance. And um, yeah, that's it, don't add stuff while it's on the balance because it's easier to clean up spills on the bench rather than in the balance. And that is balance usage.